Well, you could be saying goodbye to the traditional boarding pass. All you may need in the future is your face. Chris Van Cleve breaks down this new technology and why airlines say it should make flying easier. So you can board without presenting your boarding pass, passport, or other travel documents. This is a trial of facial recognition technology by U.S. Customs and JetBlue. The airline wants to see if it makes the boarding process faster. I'm just going to walk up and they're going to take a picture and that's it. It just amazes me, the technology. The technology is supposed to be quick. It just snaps a photo, compares it to a government database of passport pictures. If you're approved, just board the plane. And in a circle. Well, that is revolutionary in the airline industry, and Delta's right at the front of it. Hello, how are you? We were there as Delta's senior vice president, Gareth Joyce, tested a facial recognition bag drop at Minneapolis Airport. Passengers will be able to check luggage without an employee verifying their identity. The airline is also testing facial recognition at boarding gates in New York and Atlanta. You can literally go from you know, curb to plane without having to interact with a human being if you so desire. But even as the technology speeds passengers through the airport... Couldn't be faster. Yeah, pretty fast. Some fear it's moving too fast. Implementation of the use of biometrics need to be scrutinized very closely. Jeremy Scott from the Electronic Privacy Information Center worries about the use of personal identifiers that cannot be changed. As we consolidate uh, biometric data into big databases and we use it more and more, those databases will become targets and the, and the risk of data breach increases greatly. U.S. Customs and Border Protection reports it is not using these devices to store photos of U.S. citizens and insists privacy is a priority. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Boston. And for the time being, uh, TSA is not testing facial recognition for security checkpoints, but it is considering using fingerprints instead of a photo ID.